Okay, okay, GRU, KGB, Senate Intel, with all those biometric accounts that you've actually made based upon your surveillance of state actors in other countries. No, I'm not seizing Alexei's foundation. If it has been shut down by the government and there was a fixed asset, like a building, that was actually in the name of the foundation, including one that might have been able to uh, be used as collateral on some other kind of financing project for the organization, or one that might have been taxable property that would have then gone to the state and then uh, been a part of whatever the appropriate you know process is for the state to engage in public works and investments for the people. I'm not going to seize from the people of another country the property of somebody who's a political prisoner and use it for what? What am I going to do with seizure of a media publication and political organization in a country whose first language I don't speak? What am I gonna do with that, right? No, I'm not gonna do that. But on the other hand, if it has been seized or has been illegally expropriated by the state while they are in the course of trying to promulgate some sort of reprisal against a dissenter, that may also have evidence that would also be relevant in a cooperative proceeding regarding political corruption, not only in Russia, but also the United States. Well, I'm very interested in that. And that's not property, boys and girls. That's not property. That's not underwriting on financing either or insurance. It's evidence. So it's going to be very, very important that all of these Russian officials involved, especially because they're lawyers, have entered it into an appropriate evidence submissions process. And if they use those inventories on collateral, that they've kept meticulous records. Because you know what would happen if you allowed for inventories of evidence to be misabused? Do you know what that would do when it came to compensating members of law enforcement that need to be able to assure that any seized assets that then end up getting legally recirculated for law enforcement use have been done so in a secure and appropriate manner so that they themselves are not implicated in any acts of public corruption? I'm sure they do because they're lawyers. All of them are lawyers. So you're not tempting me in any way, shape, or form, just so you know.